Time now, 9.49 on this Saturday morning. It's time for Imagine It. We have our safety goggles on, and Carl Nelson's here from the Imagination Station. I brought with me today some big, rusty iron ball bearings. Okay. I have no idea what they were used for in the past, hmm. but I have found a really cool thing we can do with them. All right. So go ahead and put your gloves on. And these gloves are not going to do anything to protect your fingers, okay? All they're going to do... Noted. All, all they're right. going to do is give you a better grip in terms of grabbing the spheres. Okay. All right. And so what I want you to do is just go ahead and pick both of those up, smash them together as hard as you can. Don't hit your fingers and don't drop them. Okay. Okay. Keep doing it. And so, all right, that's good. Okay. So th the, the question is, what's happening, right? And if you ask a classroom of students what's happening here, they'd probably say nothing's happening, or maybe it's making some sound. And the problem is, we don't have the right tool to see what's happening here. Ah, I see. So I, I brought see. with me the very sophisticated tool called a piece of green paper. Paper. Can you hold? Can <laughs> okay. you hold this out in front of you, just like that? Yes. I'm gonna do the same thing you did with the spheres that I have, and I'm just gonna smash them on the paper. I'll try to miss your finger there, That'd okay? be great, thanks, Carl. Oh, hey. So, what's going on? What does that, uh, what does well, it smell like? It smells like burn, burnt paper. Well, yeah, because yeah. we, we burned holes through the paper, mm -hmm. okay? And so, the whole idea here is that when these two spheres come together with lots of force, yeah. they meet in only one teeny tiny little spot. Right. So, lots of force in a small area generates an immense amount of pressure. Mm. Okay, now we could burn holes in paper again, or we could try to amp it up a bit with a different sort of material. Of course, of course we're going to amp it so up. So we're going to take this away. We're going to take some aluminum foil. Go ahead and wrap this uh, sphere with the aluminum foil. Okay. I'll do the same with mine. Nice and tight, or does it matter? Yeah, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Just one layer if you can. Even make like a little tail on the end so you can hold it better. Okay. Kind of like this. Okay, and so what we're going to do now is we're going to smash. That's okay. That's okay. All right, but it's still keep, good up here. Keep we're working good. With it. That's okay. okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to smash the iron oxide or the rust uh -huh. into the aluminum oxide. Ah, we're gonna okay. We're going to give a little chemical reaction okay. called a the thermite reaction. All right. So go ahead and pick that up and just smash them together as hard as you can without dropping them. Okay. Ooh, little spark. Try try grazing them together. Check check this out here. Here's, okay. the, here's the technique. If you. Ooh. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. And so if you hit them hard enough, you can actually blow the aluminum foil off one. Oh, okay. mine was little, but I, I... Do it. Try it again. Oh, okay. All right. Sweet. So again, iron oxide, aluminum oxide, thermite reaction. So it's actually like a little, tiny little it's spark a, and explosion. It's a micro scale chemical reaction between wow. aluminum oxide and iron oxide. Huh. Chemistry teachers would do this or would try to do this in their classrooms, <laughs> but if you do it with the real iron and aluminum, mm -hmm. it makes a huge, huge shower of molten iron. Okay. Really kind of dangerous. But this is kind of a nice way to do it in a more controlled way because it's just on a small scale, but it is still fairly impressive with wow. the noise and the sparks. And then you can start talking about the chemistry of what's going on. Awesome. Well, Carl Nelson, thanks so much for stopping by. And just if you would like to check out any of these live experiments, they're always doing neat things down at Imagination Station, or you can check out some of those exhibits that are down there as well. Hours on your screen there, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday from noon to 5. Carl, thanks so much for coming in. Once again, always putting a little bit of spark in That's our right. Saturday morning. We got some fire for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from there, we want to go over to see what's happening in sports. Here's Dave.